This week on Times TV, we conducted interviews with Craig Schluter, SGA's treasurer, and Matt Hakeman, SGA's secretary, about investments SGA has been making on campus. And although some purchases have already been made, they face some challenges in working around the campus master plan. It has been a hindrance because some of the things that we want to do is incorporated in the master plan, so we're some told, no, don't do that, it'll be taken care of here. Or, um, like improving the Lundy Fitness Room, um, that is in the master plan is going to be moved into Hennessy, mm -hmm. and they're going to have like a separate workout room there. So, um, talking to Brenda, she uh, she's kind of hesitant on what to do about that, possibly lease new equipment instead of purchasing it because with the master plan it's going to be all new equipment in Hennessy. So just having the uncertainty, uncertainty of when the master plan is going to go into effect um, kind of varies on how we want to do things and how to act. But some of the problems we're running into is we don't know exactly what the master plan of the campus is going to be, so until we get a final say on what those details are going to be, we can't really move forward until you know, the president gives us a concrete picture of what they're going to upgrade and the time frame in which those upgrades are going to take place. Despite the problems the master plan is causing, SGA has already started spending some money. The most prominent change for students is the new flat screen TV in the cafeteria. Matt Hakeman told us what led to the installation of the TV. We kicked around a few ideas as how we could drastically improve campus life for everyone immediately. Well, what we have here is a 37 inch Olivia flat screen TV. It is a high definition TV that SGA purchased with rolled over SGA funds from the general fund that we have. And we decided this is a worthwhile addition to the cafeteria as other schools have decided. So we went ahead and made a purchase after we did a survey and this is what, this is the spot we decided on. I think it's gonna work great. Okay, so what we did is we did a survey first of all to decide even if there was you know, a want for a TV in the cafeteria and about 95% of the student surveys said that they would be for a TV being purchased in the, for use in the cafeteria. We went ahead with a purchase after we came together. We had a group collaboration as where we were going to place it. We didn't know if we would, if this would be a good spot or if we thought perhaps maybe in a corner on the other side of the cafeteria or maybe even against this wall behind the frozen yogurt machine. Um, so we eventually settled on this spot as a nice neutral spot for the TV. And if it turns out that we want to buy more TVs, you know, we always have an option to place one somewhere else. The TV with the installation, TV was probably about $600, and then you have the bracket, which is about $150. And then, you know, we had also had labor and electricity, um, and then the data line that came in. So I imagine it probably came out to be about $1,000. One potential change SGA is looking into is an upgrade to the internet speed on campus. Yeah, Bob, SGA recognizes that Mount Mercy is way behind the rest of the civilized world with its turtle slow net speed, and they're looking to do something about it. That's been something that SGA has been trying to do for many years, and I talked to Jen Hansen, and she was in full support of it, and um, she talked to Dr. Odie and Barb Pooley, and they um, wanted information because they weren't sure if it was just a select few students that wanted faster internet, or if it was uh, a wide majority. So I made a survey of a series of three questions. I mean, it's very clear that most students want faster internet speed and that information is gonna definitely help Bar Pooley and Dr. Odie make their decision on whether they wanna go ahead with doubling the speed for next year. Another change that has already been implemented is located in Regina. Yeah, a new water bottle filler has been installed near the elevator and is ready for public use. So what we have here is we have a refillable water bottle station for refillable water bottles that all the freshmen were given upon move-in day. And what this allows them to do is allows them to add filtered water to a water bottle at no expense to them. So I can just demonstrate this for you. Basically you just push down on this little lever back here and it fills up the water bottle. And when the freshmen moved in they were also given a, a sheet, I have a sheet right here, that explains to them why this water is no different than the water that they get in a regular bottle. This water bottle filler I think cost $100 itself. We also got uh, permission to get a new water fountain for the terrace level of Macaulay. I think that cost about $1,000. So we're also looking at possibly adding another one uh, filter and uh, fountain and water bottle filler in the first floor of Macaulay and that's going to cost Probably bring the grand total about $2,500, just, you know, with plumbing, 
costs filtered in also. Uh, this money has been rolled over in accounts from unused club funds over the past you know, five to ten years and basically we've accumulated about twenty some thousand dollars and being though we are recognized as nonprofit, we technically can't have that much money in our account. So we're looking for ways to improve the campus uh, to make life better for everybody that, you know, because everybody can use this type of upgrade. Another way SGA is trying to make life better for students is by looking into investing some of their money into certificates of deposit. Instead of having their 20000 plus sit in a low interest savings account, money could be put in longer term CDs, that way they'll gain some more interest. Um, instead of leaving the money sit in a savings account where it accumulates basically no interest, we figure putting it in short term CDs or breaking up into like a few short term and a few long term CDs to help that money grow would be of more use than letting it sit in a savings account where it basically loses value. Due so this begs the question, where's all this money coming from anyway? Well, let's listen to the expert and find out. I am the chair of the General Fund Committee, and what we do is we look at different ways to use approximately a sum of $24,000 that have accumulated over the years. And how that money came to be is, we have, let's say we have a budget of like $50,000, and only about 45 of it is spent in a year, $5,000 is carried over into our general fund. So over years it's built up and we're looking for ways to improve campus and to, to spend that money um, appropriately or wisely. This isn't the end of the spending that SGA is planning. No it's not, but they could use your help. Now we got a few other project ideas in the works. We probably have spent maybe a total of about $3,500, possibly $4,500 depending on you know a couple other things that are coming through the works and when they can become you know integrated into into our plan, but we have some plans that we would like to spend more money on a bigger project, but we don't know exactly what that project is going to be yet, so if anybody has any ideas, we're definitely looking for ideas. Well, Bob, looks like SGA is keeping busy spending our money, but the changes are only just beginning. Absolutely, Brian. And if students want to contact SGA with any ideas or opinions, they can talk to President Beth Somek, Vice President Yessi Mendoza, Craig, or Matt. For Times TV, I'm Brian Heinemann. And I'm Bob Jameson. Stay classy, Nelmercy.